Welcome to Winging It. We're playing Arkham Horror the Card Game today. This is Winnie and Jacqueline, their final scenario of Return to the Forgotten Age, Forging Our Own Path. This is Return to Turn Back Time, the somewhat secret hidden uh, scenario in this campaign. This is the first time I've ever done it two-handed, either in the Return or the Normal version. So that's pretty exciting. If you look in the links below, you can see my deck upgrades, but I'll go ahead and flash them really quickly. Here is Winnie's deck. And Jackie's deck. All right, I'll move these permanents out of the way. And we'll drop off any hands and get started. Winnie drawing uh, her five cards. Lucky cigarette case, wanna see that? Three aces, Gregory Gry, the moon, and the expedition journal. There's a real advantage to having the Expedition Journal in play right from the start. Um, but it would be good to have some cluing tech as well. So I'm not sure, but you know, I think we can get the Expedition Journal later. Hmm. Extra actions are good though. Um, I think I'm gonna throw it back because I really do need uh, some lock picks. Some ways to get clues, but we'll keep uh, the uh, the other. So we're dropping three aces and exhibition journal, drawing two cards. We get backstab, we got a way to fight, and Chuck Fergus, a way to <laughs> enable that fighting. Okay, so I'll shuffle these back in, and we, we can put the, the moon directly into play right away. So that's nice. All right, Jacqueline, she'll drop her uh, five cards, she gets shriveling. Voice of Raw, Deny Existence, Guts, and Robes of Endless Nights. Okay. Um, interesting. So we're both set up to fight. Uh, I'm going to keep the Robes and keep the Voice of Raw. We're going to get rid of the Deny Existence and the Guts because we're just going to try to get either an Arcane Initiate or one of our Cluing spells because otherwise we're just drawing cards. All right, we get Recall the Future. And recharge. Oh man! So neither one of them has clue tech. That is going to uh, it's going to be a pain. All right. Let's look at the agenda, which is the same agenda as Doom of Etsley. Um, this is despite each talk's warnings, you've entered the ruins and temple in search of ancient knowledge and artifacts. The agenda gets plus two Doom threshold. Force when the agenda advances. Do not remove Doom from locations in play. All right, and now we have a new Act 1, Into the Ruins once again. Despite everything that has occurred since you were last here, the Esley Temple remains the same as it was when you first explored it, preserved in an echo of time. You use your memories to guide you, heading deeper into the ruins once more. And then you can take an action to explore, and uh, you draw the top card of the encounter deck, uh, exploration deck. Okay, and it's got your typical explore rules here. All right, and then we have our location, which is the entryway, rearranged by a time. Two shroud, two clues. You need to get an action to resign. You escaped for now. I don't know what happens if you do that in this version, but I don't think it's good. You check your supplies. If you have torches, look at the top two cards of the exploration deck. Discard one treachery or enemy looked at by this effect. Shuffle the exploration deck. This ability can be used at any location. I believe that's Jackie, but let me check. That is Winnie, actually, so glad I checked. Two clues. For Winnie, I want to get Lucky Cigarette Case and Gregory Gry down, but then I want to just start drawing cards. I know I don't want to lose Chuck Fergus or Backstab. So we'll spend five resources, taking two actions to put out the Lucky Cigarette Case and Gregory Gry. In the last section will struck. We'll get all in. That is great. We can all in and just draw some cards and get set up. That's a good deal. All right. Jacqueline, we want to get shriveling out. 
how much will call the future, but it's more important to, to get shriveling out. So, um, action one, we'll spend two resources to play the Robes of Endless Night. Action two, we will exhaust Robes of Endless Night and spend two resources to play Shriveling. Last action, we will play Voice of Ra using her ability. We get one resource from the Voice of Ra. And then we'll re reveal five gas tokens canceling two. So, one. Two, three, four, five. The autofill counts, right? Yes, it does. So we get four resources. Oh, actually, we get six resources. Nice. That's some real value there. When he will draw a nimble. Jacqueline will get Arbiter of Fates. That'll be great to get down. All right. We're at 1 of 6 Doom. When he will draw Deep Dark. Put Deep Dark into play next to the agenda deck. No more than one clue may be discovered from each location by each investigator each round. Forest, at the end of the round, discard one copy of Deep Dark from play at max once per round. That's excellent because uh, we're not planning to get extra clues this turn. So that's kind of a blank for us. Okay, and then um, Jacqueline will get Curse of Yig. Curse, uh, Revelation, put Curse of Yig into play in your threat area. You get negative one combat, negative one health, and gain the Serpent Trait. You can test two willpower. This gets plus one difficulty for each vengeance point in the victory display. If you succeed, discard Curse of Yig. Okay, great. All right, so I think action one... Wayne's going to investigate with all in. She still will only be up by three. I'm going to draw a card. We get a sneak attack. Hmm. Action two, we're going to draw a card. Another sneak attack. Okay, and then action three, we're just going to spend three resources. To put in Chuck Fergus. I just don't have what I need to be able to uh, to draw a bunch of cards. Okay, so um, Jacqueline will spend. She's going to draw a card first. Action one, she'll draw a card. Uh, internal injury. Okay, that's why I drew first because I wanted to play the Arbiter of Fates and recall the future. But now we're just going to take two actions to uh, discard internal injury, and we're okay. Winnie will draw three aces. Jacqueline will draw Olive McBride. And Deep Dark goes away. We're at two doom. And Winnie will draw Emerging Timelines. Discard the top five cards of your deck for each card in your hand. It matches one of the discarded cards by title. Discard that card from your hand and lose one action. Shuffle each weakness discarded by the spec into your deck. All right, so if we get a backstab or three aces, I'm gonna be sad. We get, watch this. Pelfer, Gregory Gry, Manual Dexterity, and Arrogance. Okay, we hit nothing in our hand, so that's good. Arrogance will shuffle back in. Jacqueline will get Wrath of Yig. Test two willpower. This test gets plus one difficulty for each vengeance point in the victory display. If you fail, put a set aside poison weakness into play in your threat area if you cannot take two damage. 
Okay, well, we will use her ability. We are at 5v2. Okay, we get... Okay, we'll take the 0. Pass that, so we don't get poisoned. Alright, so I think Jacqueline is going to play Olive, Recall, and Arbiter of Fates. So she has, she'll spend one, two to play Recall the Future. She'll spend one, two, three to play Arbiter of Fates. And then she'll spend two to play Olive McBride. Just doing setup stuff here. Let's see. We could do an all in if we committed these sneak attacks to the test. Maybe three. Let's do it. All right. Winnie is going to investigate. She's at two. She's at three. We'll commit all in to be four or five. Two sneak attacks to six and seven. We're using Arbiter of Fates on this. We're drawing a card, which will be anything you can do better. All right, so again, we're at three, four, five, six, seven, two, two. Oh, and we're putting three from Gregory Bry. Okay, Elder Sign. Oh my gosh. So I, I'm pretty sure we can't return all in into our deck. That has to be removed. But we can get back our two sneak attacks. Um, so we uh, we succeeded. And we get the three from Gregory Bry. We succeeded by five for sure. So we get to draw five cards. So we'll get to Intel Report, Beta. Quick thinking, three aces, and the lock picks will definitely, oh, we take all of them. I was gonna say, I thought we were lucky cigarette casing, but we were not. Okay, we got the clue. All right, and we did succeed by See, we we're at three, four, five, six, seven. So we succeeded by five. We can do lucky cigarette case. I'm like one, two, three, four, five. Um, let's see. Take the three aces, I guess. Uh, so we will then spend three resources to put down the lock picks. We will investigate last action, committing quick thinking and three copies of three aces which allows us to draw a card, which is a black cat. We get an action back for succeeding. Uh, we get the three cards. Lucky cigarette case. Watch this. Lock their copy of lock picks. We get three. Oh, we, we were going to put three off Gregory Gry. So we get three off Gregory Gry and three from three aces. Okay, we have one more action left. We'll spend two resources to play the Black Cat. Black Cat over here. All right, so still getting set up. When he will draw, she gets uh, nimble. We have to drop three cards. We'll drop one of our nimbles 
our Intel port, and our VEDA. Jacqueline will get Deny Existence. We're at three of eight Doom. Winnie will get Serpent Guardian spawn at the nearest location with at least one clue. It's aloof. While Serpent Guardian is unengaged, its location gets plus two Shroud. While there are three or more Vengeance points in the victory display, Serpent Guardian loses aloof and gains Hunter. So it has to go right here with them, which is fine. Okay, and then uh, Jacqueline will get Entombed. Put tomb, Entombed into play in your threat area. You cannot disengage from enemies or move. Test for agility to escape the tomb. Or for combat to break out. If you succeed, discard Entombed. If you fail, reduce the difficulty assessed by one until the end of the round. All right. So, Winnie, action one will test the Entombed. She is at 5v4. We will uh, use Ultimate. Uh, anything you can do better and watch this. Putting three resources on. Watch this. And three resources from Gregory Gry. She'll draw a card because she committed two cards. We got a manual dexterity. We're using Jacqueline's ability, testing the Entombed. We're at uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Versus 4, using Jacqueline's ability. We'll get 0, negative 2, and Cultist. We'll take the 0. Succeed by nine, we'll use like a cigarette case. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all the cards. Um, we'll grab the Expedition Journal. We get uh, three from Gregory Gry, and then six from Watch This. Okay, action two, we'll spend two resources to play the Expedition Journal. We'll spend two more resources to play our other Lucky Cigarette case. And then we'll use the Expedition Journal to explore. Finally, we'll get off the starting location. We will get the Sealed Passage. This does connect. Say nine shrouds, zero clue. Check your spies if you have the key. Eventually, we do not. Okay, and then we shuffle an encounter deck or encounter card into the encounter deck. All right, Jacqueline will go ahead and explore. Um, actually, yeah, she'll go ahead and explore. She gets the tomb of the ancients. That does not connect. Ancient Hall does connect. It's a three shroud, two clue. It enters play with uh, two doom on it. You can take an action to flip the Ancient Hall to its clue side, or you can uh, check your supplies if you have a compass. Flip one doom on the Ancient Hall to its clue side. One of them does have a compass. I don't remember which. Jacqueline has the compass. All right. Okay, we uh, put a new encounter into the... And she will use, it comes with two doom, but she'll put, she'll flip one immediately over with her uh, compass. All right. We draw a card and then recharge. Yeah, we'll draw a card for our second action, which is a Guts. Nice. Okay, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll play Recharge using uh, Olive, an Arbiter of Fates on the Recharge. We'll use uh, 
uh, three from Olive, choosing two, and then the last, no wait, we'll use three from Jacqueline, and then the last one that we'll reveal from Jacqueline, we'll use Olive on. So Jacqueline does one, two, and then we have Olive will be these last three. We have to resolve two of these, one, two, and three. Well, there is no way to not resolve that. I thought, surely, using Jacqueline and Olive, we'd be fine, but we're not. So, um, fortunately, it's the leveled up recharge, so we at least don't, we just put one, uh, one charge on the shriveling. But that is disappointing. When you will draw, Reckless. Jacqueline will draw Border Protection, level five. All right, we're at four of eight Doom. Winnie will get a Vengeful Serpent. After you draw a Vengeful Serpent, draw each Vengeful Serpent in the victory display as well. It's a two, 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 and it is a Hunter. All right. Jacqueline will draw Tendalus Alpha. 434. Four. Uh, after Tindalus Alpha attacks you, shuffle a non story asset you control into your deck, moving all damage and horror from that asset to your investigator. Discard Tindalus Alpha. At the end of the enemy phase, discard Tindalus Alpha. All right. So we're going to start with Jacqueline, who will use her ability with Shriveling and will commit this Guts. So we are at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to beat four using her ability. All right, we got an auto fail, an elder sign, and a, 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 a cultist. So we have to take two horror. So we will take two horror on Olive McBride, um, but we do succeed. Uh, the, the skulls are worth the number of locations of Doom on is zero. And the Elder Sign, we're not ignoring the Elder Sign because we actually want to kill this guy. So this guy is dead. We draw two cards from Guts. We'll get Clairvoyance, finally. And Ray of Seeking. So the um, I said there was no Doom, but there's actually one location we Doom on it, although we can use her ability here. Flip it over. All right, so the question is, do we want to play Clairvoyance or Right of Seeking? I'm inclined to play Right of Seeking because I don't want to say I just took a bunch of horror. <laughs> we haven't seen our horror healing stuff yet. Um, and we could potentially take more horror from shoveling. So, uh, action two, we will exhaust the Ribs of Endless Night and spend three resources to play a Rite of Seeking. Okay, and then we'll investigate using Rite of Seeking. We're not going to use Arbiter of Fate. That might be for winning later. Um, we are at five, six, seven to beat three. We're up by four. We'll recall the future on the negative five. We do lose a charge off the right of seeking. It should be in her arcane slide, actually. Okay, other thing that ends her turn, it's negative four. We don't fail um, because we were at far six, seven, minus four is three. Uh, we do get two clues, ends her turn, but that's okay. We just need two more clues and we'll be good to continue. Okay, Winnie is just going to evade the Vengeful Serpent. 
She is at 5 v2. She'll commit reckless. First action. No, we won't. Uh, we'll commit nimble and manual dexterity. Sure. She draw. She's committing two cards. She'll draw a card, which is pilfer. Okay, she gets uh, the skull, which is negative one. She does succeed by two. So she gets to draw her two cards from manual dexterity. So she'll draw backstab and an opportunist. Let's see. We can exhaust her lucky cigarette cases. We'll uh, just look at the rest of her deck. We'll grab the Quick Thinking and the Opportunist, since we did two of those. And leave the Arrogance behind. We get to move. We will now, um, let's see. We'll exhaust Chuck Fergus to play Pilfer for two. We'll do it fast. So Pilfer for two. Um, we'll commit Opportunist and Quick Thinking. So we are at uh, five, six, seven versus three. The other opportunist, eight versus three. We'll use Arbiter of Fates. So we'll draw, we'll draw, and we need to draw a card, which will just be our arrogance. One, two, three, we'll take the zero. We get both clues. We get the two opportunists back. We get an action back from quick thinking. We'll go ahead and advance. Spinning our six clues. And we will get sleeping corridors. You pass by carvings on the walls with, and hieroglyphs etched into the stone altars. The location of the relic's vault is already locked deep in your memory. Shuffle the set aside chamber of time location into the exploration deck. Place this actor in the act in the victory display, it gains vengeance too. So we have unavoidable vengeance here. We shuffle the chamber of time into the exploration deck. And now we get Act 2A. The chamber still remains. In the central chamber within the core of the ruins, the relic awaits. You, uh, take the action to explore like you did before, and only objectives at the chamber of time may spend the requisite number of clues to group to advance, which is four. All right, so we need four clues. All right, we will use uh, the Expedition Journal to explore. We'll get a Curse of Yig. All right, and then we will uh, take an action to explore again. We get a uh, snake that does not, thankfully, connect. We get the Grand Chamber does not connect. The mosaic chamber does, and it has it's a three shroud, two clues. Check your supplies if you have a canteen. The chamber accepts your gift of water. Remove one doom from any location in play. We don't have a canteen. All right, we're going to take an action to draw a card. We have a lot of cards, but th what this is going to do is reset the deck. So when I get rid of reckless, that it doesn't it doesn't go into my deck. It'll go into the discard pile once I shuffle. So we get a horror on very grind.
Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. We can't do this. Because we have to, we have to, um, we, arrogance, we have to get rid of arrogance before we can commit reckless. Oh man, that's terrible. Okay, we'll uh, commit arrogance to this test. So we're at uh, 2v3. Okay, zero. We fail. We live arrogance. Let's do our discard. And then we will lock picks committing reckless. We're at 9v3. Plus one. All right, we pass to get rid of Reckless. But of course, both of those weaknesses are now shuffled in, so that's unfortunate. We do get a clue, though. So we just need three more clues. Okay, Winnie shuffled, recycled her deck, put a horror on Gregory Gry. She's drawing an air against. All right, we have to drop a card. We'll drop one of, um, we'll drop, uh, that's a good question, actually. I think we'll drop the lock picks. I don't think we need it. Okay, and then Jacqueline will get Guts. Alright, 5 of 8 Doom. And Jacqueline or Winnie will draw Crip Chill. All right, we'll just get rid of Gregory Gry. <laughs> We're totally fine with losing Gregory Gry. We are at one v four. Oh, and we're commit. We have to commit arrogance to this. So we're zero v four. Plus one, we still fail. Get rid of the arrogance. Get rid of Gregory Gry. Thank you, Encounter Deck. You're a swell pal. All right, and then uh, Jacqueline will get Deep Dark. So we put it into play next to the agenda deck. And no more than one clue may be discovered from each location by each investigator each round. At the end of the round, discard one copy of Deep Dark from play maximum per round. All right, so I do, uh, it's the binoculars is Winnie, right? Yeah. So action one, she's just going to explore. Actually, we'll use the expedition journal to explore. We get ancestral fear. Okay, Peril Surge, you must either place one Doom in your location and discard Ancestral Fear, or place Ancestral Fear in the Victory Display. What do we care about Vengeance? What does Vengeance do? Um, let's put it in the Victory Display. That puts us three Vengeance in the Victory Display, which I do think makes some things bad, but I'm going to do it. Okay, and it surges, which means we have to draw now out of the Encounter deck, which is another Crypt Chill. Okay, now this, we don't want to lose anything to this, but we probably will. Uh, maybe our moon, maybe a cigarette case, I don't know. Um, can we beat this, though? Or 1v4. I don't see how. Okay, we'll just lose a lucky cigarette case. Okay, that's the elder thing. We will take a direct horror on the black cat to can't to make it a zero, so we don't have to put a um, uh, lose a doom. We have to drop something. We're going to drop the moon and get it into play later. Can we lose the exhibition journal? 
Yeah, we can. Okay, we'll just lose the expedition journal. I'd rather have the moon than the expedition journal. That's nice. Okay. Cool. Action two. We are going to do it again. The Grand Chamber. It's not connected. Deep dark. We got another deep dark. Okay, action three, do it again. Tomb of the Ancients. Okay, that does connect. That is, oh, we need to shuffle a uh, counter card in. So four shroud, two clues. Check your supplies. If an investigator at the Tomb of Ancients has rope, they do not. Uh, last action, I guess we just keep exploring. Explore again. We could get a clue. You know what, we will. We'll get it, we'll just uh, lock picks. Commit two copies of Opportunist. We'll draw a card. Another Gregory Gry. And we are at 9, 10, 11, 4. Think of three. So exceed by four. Get the two Opportunists back. We get the clue. It's last action. We'll uh, look at your case, look at top four and grab one. Do we want to? And what are we looking for here? Um, which I'm pretty happy with what I got. We'll just leave them the way they are. For now, we could draw a backstab. Yeah, okay. We'll do uh, one, look at your case, one. Two, three, four. We'll take three aces. And then, yeah, I think we'll uh, hold off on the other one. All right, so Jacqueline will action one move, action two move. So she's in here. Let's see, what, how many are in here? One, two, three, four, five. If we take the action. Is oh well, it's actually Jack. It's uh, Winnie. We'd have to get. She's just going to explore. Last action. So we get a snake pit forced after you put snake pit into play by exploring successfully, but before moving to it, spawn three or two set aside pit viper enemies uh, in snake pit. Check your supplies. If an investigator location has binoculars, which Winnie does, you may choose not to move to the snake pit. So this goes into play. We're not going to move there because we're not crazy. We do shuffle uh, encounter into the exploration deck. And we have to spawn two pit vipers there. Whitney will get reckless. We have to discard two cards. We will discard think. Let's see how many clues do we have? We have two. Yeah. We'll discard our pilfer and one of our opportunities. Jacqueline will get Crystal Pendulum. Alright. D Dark goes away. We're at six of eight doom. And we will draw Entombed. Put into your uh, threat area. You cannot disengage from enemies or move. A test for agility to escape from a uh, tomb or for combat to break out. If you succeed, discard Entombed. If you fail, reduce the difficulty of the test by one until the end of the round. Okay, and Jacqueline will get Vengeful Serpents. Oh, this guy should have hunted. 
right. Let's see. Do we just kill the vengeful serpent and move on? I think we do. Yep. Um, I just wish we had more combat spells. Okay. Um, Jacqueline will use shriveling. Uh, does she really want to? Yeah. She'll use shriveling against this uh, vengeful serpent. She's going to use her um, ability. She's going to commit guts to it. We just want the draw. We're at uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 versus 2. We will olive the last token. So we get 2 and then we get an olive. 2 and then 1, 2, 3. We can choose the olive cell which we ignore this, take the negative three and the one. So we'll draw one from ignoring the elder sign, which is fearless, good. And then we draw two from guts, which is dark future and another fearless. All right, so eventual serpent goes to the victory display. Here's our first action. Uh, second action, I think we'll spin two to play Crystal Pendulum, and then we will explore. Chamber of Time. Shuffle into the... Uh, that does connect, right? Yes, it does. All right, so it's four shroud, four clues. Forced after the nurse play, attached to the set aside Relic of Ages asset, place one doom on the Chamber of Time, which means we're going to advance. So we are here. And now we gotta do Dark Future. We'll use Arbiter of Fates on the Dark Future. So we are re re revealing seven tokens. One, two, three, four. Well, that's enough. We'll do it all the way. Five, six. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. And we got the other sign, so dark future is done. Good chip. Alright, we are going to lock picks. When he's gonna lock picks. Um the her location with committing reckless. She's at nine v four. Actually, she's not. Hold on. First action will spend three to play Gregory Gry. Second action. Then she will do the lock picks. Nine to make reckless, putting three off of Gregory Bry. Second action. So we are at uh, nine before. It's negative five. We do pass. We don't get the three from Gregory Bry. We get rid of reckless. We get the clue. I was hoping to get copies of three aces, but we didn't. So we'll just uh, look to your case twice to try to get some cards so we can get untuned. We get a pilfer and a quick thinking. All right, we will then, last action, we'll test the untuned. We are at 5v4, we'll commit Opportunist and quick thinking and pilfer. 
uh, to be at five, six, seven, eight. To be four, we'll draw a card, which is manual dexterity. Up by four on this. Auto fail. All right. So we're still entombed, which is unfortunate. And we lost a bunch of cards. All right. Angel Servant will hunt. When he will draw, she gets another manual dexterity. Jacqueline will get another shriveling. Excellent. All right. Deep Dark goes away. Uh, we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of eight doom. When he will draw, she gets Ancestral Fear. We're going to put it in the victory display. So I get two vengeance in the victory display. And it surges into Final Mistake. All right. We will commit a manual dexterity to this. So we are at five, six, seven, eight, nine to be two. Put three resources in the very grind to this. Plus one. All right. So. We were at 10b2. We succeed by 8. We'll draw the two cards from Manual Dexterity, which is Nimble and Intel Report. Um, and we will get three resources from Gregor Gar. And then we will Lucky Cigarette Case twice. We were up by. succeeded by. Nine, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get to draw two cards out of our deck, and we'll get our two copies of three aces. All right, Jacqueline will get Creeping Poison. Uh, so each investigator's poison takes damage and it surges. And she'll get Ill Omen. Choose a location where there's at least one investigator. Place one doom in that location. Each investigator at the chosen location takes one horror. I don't think we care about this. We'll put a doom on Winnie's location. Actually, we'll put a... Yeah, we'll put a... Oh, wait. Were we supposed to put doom on the Chamber of Time? Yeah, we were. Okay, so we messed up here. Because we would have advanced. So let's see what's on the back side of this. And the Relic of Ages should be attached to it. I don't know if it shuffles the encounter deck. It does not. So we would have been valid. Okay, so sorry about this. But we're going to read um, The Ruins Awaken. Just then, a sound thrums the walls of the temple. A dull humming similar to that of a generator. Grooves in the walls and the ceiling flicker and starts to glow. It is though the temple is alive and it senses your presence. The strange statue and carvings you've seen, coupled with the dim glow and the power uh, cur uh, coursing through the walls, makes it clear that this temple isn't Aztec in origin. In fact, it appears to be from an even older, more ancient civilization altogether. You feel as though you are an intruder in a world that cannot begin to understand. Confirming your worst fears, a loud hiss and rattle echoes throughout the temple. Whatever you just woke up, it's not happy to see you. Spawn the set-aside Harbinger Belusi at the location with the most clues, which would be uh, Jacqueline's location. <laughs> So we get the Harbinger of Valusia. All right. Uh, this is the Sleeper Returns. She is a two, uh, two, five, two combat, 20 health, four uh, agility. While this enemy has uh, 10 or more damage on it, it gets plus two fight and negative two evade. After a successful attack or evasion attempt against this enemy, place one resource on it. Then, if there are four resources on it, it vanishes with a sinister hiss. 
and it's at Jacqueline's location, it's on Jacqueline. So we resolved this peril, we gave a horror to Gregory Gry, and we put a doom on the Tomb of the Ancients. All right, so now what do we do about the Harbinger? See, we need one more clue to advance, but it would be nice to deal with the Harbinger first. It's just that. Maybe we just don't take care of the Harbinger first. All right. All right, uh, Winnie is going to go first. She's going to test her entombed. She's going to um, commit three copies of three aces and a nimble to her entombed. Uh, so we draw a card from committing multiple and we get a Veda. Oh, we'll put the three from Gregory Bry, so we get three resources. All right, we get to draw three cards, which will be quick thinking, watch this, and anything you can do better. And two is gone. We get to move from nimble, so we'll move into the chamber of time. We will uh, lock picks for our second action. We are at nine versus four. We'll commit uh, intel report and quick thinking and draw a card, which is nimble. Actually, yeah. Let's see, do we want to? No, we don't. I'll we'll just use this. Okay, negative one. All right, so we succeed by two. We get a quick thinking action back. We get a clue. We're not ready to spin clues yet. Okay, we'll engage the Harbinger of Luzia. Then we will evade the Harbinger of Luzia, committing uh, manual dexterity and watch this, putting three resources on watch this. We'll use Jacqueline's ability here. So we're five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We had an elder sign. Oh wait, we're using Jacqueline's ability. Got your two more. Okay, and an elder thing, and a negative three. We'll take the elder sign. So we do get both of those cards back into our hand. We get the three resources. And watch this, we get. We draw two cards, which will be another watch this, and then we will uh, shuffle our deck, and we'll take a horror and kill Great Great Gry. The Harbinger is evaded, and we put a thing on her. Uh, we, you know, we put a resource on her to mark that we've evaded her once. We draw, we get a nimble. Okay. Hmm. We'll go ahead and uh, play Chuck Fergus. Oh, wait, we don't have a pill for anymore. All right. Jacqueline will spend, she'll use, um, uh, she's going to write a seeking using her ability. And olive, and commit fearless. So she's at five, six, seven, eight. She's at eight. Before we're gonna say, oh wait, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna say we pull a negative two. 
we're pulling three tokens, and then the third token will be an olive cell. So we get one, two, three. And that's the last one's the olive. We get two more. All right. So let's see. And that would be negative three, negative four. Negative... There's no way to make it be negative two. So let's take the plus one. And uh, we don't get to draw a card. We do heal two horror from the fearless. And we do get two clues. See, we did spend a charge off that. Not that it matters. We will exhaust the robes of endless night and spend one, two to play out our other shriveling. With four on it. And then for our last action, we'll just draw a card. And we'll get another olive. Alright, the Harbinger will re-engage on Winnie. And she'll serve at one. Winnie will draw quick thinking. We have to drop a card, we'll drop actually we have to drop three cards. We'll drop uh, two copies of Nimble and watch this. We have to drop one more card. We'll drop the other. Watch this. I feel like we're good on resources right now. Famous last words, right? All right. And then um, Jacqueline will draw another deny existence. All right. We are now at three of 14 doom. And we'll get Brood of Yig on Winnie. Jacqueline will get Creeping Poison, which surges into Tendalus Alpha. Um, she is just going to use Robes of Endless Night. She will take a Horror. And will deny existence, on, or will um, order protection that, just because one less action will have to do useful things. Okay. Um, Okay, action one, um, Winnie, action one, will evade the Harbinger of Elysia, committing manual dexterity and quick thinking. We'll use Jacqueline's ability. No, we're not. All right, we're at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to be four. That's fine. We'll draw a card. We get a pulper. That is the elder thing is negative four. We were at 10, nine, eight, seven, six. We succeed by two, um, which means the quick thinking gets our action back. We still draw two cards from the main dexterity. So we'll draw the two cards. We get block picks and an intel report. Two cards we do not need. Harbinger gets another marker and it is evaded. We are now going to exhaust Chuck and spend one resource to play Backstab. We are at uh, five, six to beat. Let's see, he gets plus two fight for the Vengeance. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four in the Vengeance display. Yeah, so he's a six now. Commit anything you can do better. And pilfer to this. All right, so we are at five, six. Let's backstab. All right, we're at uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We'll draw a card. We get manual dexterity. We are not using it. So thirteen versus six.
Oh, we have to put this back in. Zero, okay. So we succeeded by seven. Back side will come back into our hands at the end of the turn. Um, we will lucky, uh, this guy's dead. Lucky cigarette case twice, looking for seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll take three aces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll take a second copy of three aces. This is the last time I get to use them because the taboo. Because I don't really think they're worth it if you remove them from game. So I'm going to get my money's worth out of three aces. Now we will uh, spend our four clues from Winnie. We get reversal. The relic comes with power and throbs in your hands. Energy from the device seeps into the corridors of the ruins, and the structure of the temple shifts. However, this does not matter to you. Escaping with the relic is no longer your goal. You skillfully work the hidden components of the device once more, manipulating the very fabric of time and the environment around you. Determined to stop all of this from having ever occurred, you turn the clock back once more. Choose an investigator in the chamber of time to take, chamber of time to take control of the relic of ages. We'll just give it the jack one. It's a mystic -y kind of thing. I search collection for Yig and spawn it in the Chamber of Time. Put this in victory in the dis uh, act of victory display gains vengeance too. So we have like eight vengeance in the victory display. All right, and we get Yig. He's a four six four hunter, massive. Gets plus twelve health, so he's an eighteen health. Yig cannot be damaged while there's another ready serpent enemy at its location. Each other serpent enemy at Yig's location gains alert and retaliate. So this is why I was. Um, this is why I wanted to deny, uh, cancel that one serpent, the Tindalus Alpha, from showing up. Except it's not a serpent! <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, Yig shows up. Um, we've just got to do 18 damage, so let's see what we can do. All right. Um, so, action one, we will evade Yig. Um, he is a four evade. We are at six. Commit manual dexterity, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Veda, 11, 12, 13. No, 10 is fine versus four. Yeah. Wait, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus four. Up by five, yeah. That's fine. Okay, uh, the number of locations with Doom on them, that is two, negative two. So we succeed by two or more. Yig is evaded. Got two cards. We get an Opportunist and a Pilfer. All right, we will spend four resources to play our two sneak attacks on him to do four damage. All right, so four of 18, doing the thing. Jacqueline will shrivel, Actually, one. She's at five, six, seven, eight, nine to beat four. Oh, plus one. Yep. So she has three damage. I forgot I wasn't using her ability for the first one. All right, so it's three damage. So he's now up to seven. We use another charge of shriveling. This time we'll use her ability. We like three tokens. We'll crystal pendulum, we'll say zero. We'll use all of two on the third cell. One, two, three, 
One, two, three, four, five. We said zero. We can't resolve that into zero in any way. Okay. Um, so that's fine. That's still three more damage. So he's at two, four, six, eight, ten. And then we will use our last charge of shriveling using Arbiter of Fates. Dealing three tokens. Other thing, zero and plus one. Where was that zero before when we needed it? Okay, three more damage on to Yig. Is it 13 of 18? So we just need to do five more damage. Okay. The Harbinger readies, Vengeful Serpent. Hits Winnie for a damage and horror. We'll put it on. Put the damage on the black cat, put the horror on Chuck Fergus. Um, I forgot to read the final act, which is Moment of Doom. You stand in the center of the relic's vault, surrounded on all sides by slain Esley warriors. The father of serpents stands before you, his hiss shaking you to your bones. This is where the Etsley made their last stand. Now only you stand in the creature's way. Relic of Angels gains action, test willpower or intellect. Or if you succeed, flip a clue controlled by an investigator location to its doom side and place it on your location, then deal a three damage to Yig. If Yig is defeated, advance. So that's what we're trying to do. Alright, and then Winnie will get a Reckless. Jacqueline will get a Ward of Protection, level 5. Part four of fourteen doom, and we get a brood of yig. Oh man! Oh, actually, we needed to discard two cards from um, uh, Winnie's hand. That would be the pilfer and the intel report. All right, and then um, Jacqueline will get merging timelines. All right, we're gonna discard the top five cards of our deck. We will get arcane initiate. Right of Seeking, Arcane Initiates, Recharge, and Recall the Future. Okay, none of those are in my hand, so I don't get to discard anything. <laughs> I was actually going to hope to lose actions so I could uh, deny existence to gain actions, but it didn't work out. All right, so Winnie's just got to evade a bunch of stuff here. All right. Um, boy. All right, well, the first thing we'll do is we will evade the Vengeful Serpent. No, we'll evade the Harbin Ar Harbinger, yeah. Um, we'll commit Veda and Opportunist to this. So that gets 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to beat 4, brought by 6. We'll use Jacqueline's ability on this. Glad I did that. Okay, we'll take the negative two. Ten, nine, eight. Two, four. We succeed by four. We use Lucky Secret Case twice. Harbinger is evaded. Uh, I'm looking at top four cards. You get one, two, Three, four. Oh, I should have drawn a card with the opportunist, but I didn't. Okay, we'll take the quick thinking. And then we do it again. And for my last copy of Three Aces, this is what I'm looking for. Okay. One, two, three, and four. There's the last copy of Three Aces. We'll grab it. So 
the Brood of Yig is, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's an eight combat, eight fight. We will exhaust Chuck Fergus, spending one resource to play backstab fast and cheap. Um, we're at six V eight. We'll commit the three aces and the quick thinking. We'll draw a card from containing multiple cards. We get an opportunist. The brood, um, we get three resources. Draw three cards, which will be Arrogance, Exhibition Journal, and Gregory Gry. Right. We get an action back. We kill the brood of Yig. All right. Then we will evade the Vengeful Serpent. We are at six V2. We will uh, commit arrogance to this because we have to. So we're now at six five V2. Now we'll commit our two opportunists. So five, six, seven, V2. Let me draw a card. We'll take a horror. Put it on Winnie. She can handle a little bit of horror. Let me shuffle my deck. Let me draw an intel report, which is totally useless. Okay. All right, we're at seven, V2. Skull is minus two, so six five. We succeed by two. We get the opportunist back. The arrogance stays, and the mental serpent is evaded. Now we can finally damage Yig. Okay, we'll spend three resources. Oh, Yig is ready, so we can't do anything. Does he retaliate? He does not. All right, uh, we will uh, attack Yig with a backstab. All right, we're backstabbing. We are at six V four. Commit the arrogance, so we're at five V four. Commit opportunist six and seven. Um, yeah, seven before we'll use Arbiter of Fates. Seven before by three. Oh, we draw a card. We already draw a card, which is a beta. Elder sign. Okay, we will um, we'll take the black cat elder sign, which is just plus five. Heal all damage from the black cat. And damage and horror, right? Yep. And Yig takes three damage. So he is now at two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and sixteen. Just gotta do two more damage to him. All right. We have one last action. We'll just evade him. We're going to commit two copies of Opportunist. And Veda to be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then, of course, we have to do our Arrogance. So 10 versus 4. We draw a card, which is Manual Dexterity. 10 versus 4 for our last action. That's a zero, so he is evaded. And then Jacqueline will take a shot with Shriveling using Olive. Uh, she is at five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. Resolving three, taking two. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> we'll take the auto fail, which gives her two horror. Alright. Action number two, we'll do it again. Shriveling. We will uh, commit fearless. So we're at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, V4. Uh, it's an Elder Sign. We take two horror, we heal two horror, but then we kill Yig, and we get to advance. The creature roars in pain. His tail thrashes violently, crushing several pillars and sending you flying to the ground. He retreats with a hateful, rumbling hiss. You turn your attention back to the relic and the chamber that was built to preserve it. It's time to end this, once and for all. It's time to do what must be done. R1, and that is turn back time. That is Forging Your Own Path, done by Winnie and Jackie. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a really long campaign. I've <laughs> been going at it for nearly a year. Had to re-record some with lost footage. Uh, but it was a super exciting last couple of scenarios. These decks really finally started to feel like they were clicking for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, watching it. I did have a blast playing it, especially like these last three scenarios. Um, Got a lot of exciting things in store. I will see you next time on Winging It.